What's the matter? I'm going to pick up the cake. Are you going to go get the cake? Yeah. We're on good terms again, right? Yes, we're friends again. You like? <laughs> Me and Nia had the classic male-female argument that no matter how much time you give them, they're never ready. You're never ready. Hey, Nia, listen, we're going to a party <laughs> Thursday, uh, June 26th and 2017. Can you be ready by four? I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just don't get it. I home. sit there and I was driving back from where I was coming from, right? Mm -hmm. Jamming mm -hmm. with some friends, man. Yes. So I called you and I said, hey, I'm 15 minutes away. And you're like, oh, I'm still trying to decide what I want to wear. <laughs> and I said, okay. And I hung up. And do you know why I was yelling at the windshield? Because you knew I wasn't going to be ready. I was just like, how are you not ready? How is she not ready? She had three and a half hours, three hours and 20 minutes to get ready, and you were not ready. I thought that you were going to come in and change clothes. I'm a so guy. Thought, I'm always yeah. ready. I can, I can literally get ready in eight minutes. But you're right. I did watch that last episode of Making a Murderer. I knew you did. And then, I, I can get ready in eight minutes. And then Back in the day, it was 15. On the couch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sit down. I want you to come here. Let's say that again into the microphone. Tell me what happened. Yeah, I was watching the last episode of Making a Murderer. Um, don't binge watch that series if you haven't watched it. It's just, it's not good for your soul. But I had to stop watching it. Yeah. And I want to sign the petition to help that guy out. Uh, but let's stay on target. Okay. okay? Yes. Forget about the guy who's wrongfully imprisoned for the second time. Let's talk right. about me and my selfish <laughs> needs. Yeah, so I watched the last episode of that, and then I fell asleep on the couch. So, okay, so that's what happened. So all the histrionics. So then we dr we're driving to the party. Really. We're I driving to the party. Me. She's dressed up. I'm dressed up. We're both staring straight ahead, not talking to one another. <laughs> and as we're pulling up the fucking, you know, driveway, she goes, oh, we should have brought a bottle of wine or something. I and then I said, uh. well, God knows you had plenty of time to do it. And you know what? The evening, as Michael Corleone would say, was over. Godfather Part Two. Over. It was over, and for the re I got to give it to you. For the rest of the party, you smiled and you pretended like we were a cohesive couple. <laughs> That's true. Yes, you did, and you acted like I didn't, you cared. We didn't talk to each other though. No, we didn't. I actually went into the kids' room, <laughs> and I watched Fast and Furious with the kids and yeah. enjoyed it at the same level that they did because I'm immature as hell. And I just you know chatted with other people about making a murderer and soaked in bleach. Okay, so then we get home. Uh -huh. And she still hasn't said anything. I remember we pulled up in the driveway and then she goes, you know, I'm going to get out now. And just got out, walked around the car and went into the house. And I'm like, all right, she's mad. And then we go downstairs and you were putting fresh sheets on the bed. And I said something about us sleeping in the bed to the, together. And you just looked at me and said, oh, I'm not sleeping here tonight. At which point I just tapped into German Irish of, well, fuck you. I can play the silent game all night. Mm -hmm. I didn't say another word to you. We talked a little bit. No, you tried to initiate it because you realized that no matter how much you hate me, you like sleeping next to me in a bed. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. And I do love sleeping Stop with in that bed. condescending tone. No, no. I don't hate and you. And I do like sleeping next to you. It's weird if I were to sleep in a different place. Personally, I was looking forward to it. I had, I had, <laughs> <laughs> I had the fucking NHL network ready to be queued up the second you walked out. And then you mm -hmm. came in and then I literally had to fake a sleep like I was eight years old. Which I did, which is pretty sad, right? And I, like, nudge you because you left your laptop on the bed. And I was like, can you put this on your... <laughs> and I was mature enough not to say, I almost said, I thought you weren't sleeping here. And you would be like, you were not sleeping here? <laughs> then I won't. <laughs> You'd stomp up the stairs extra loud to mm. reinforce, I'm leaving now. Mm. At which point, I wouldn't have done anything. And then you'd come, don't, 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 back down. You don't really care, do you? No, right? well, I no? wouldn't have done all that. Oh. Maybe some of it, though. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So in the future, Nia, just give yourself an extra four, five, seven hours. I know. I know. But it's like I never know what to fucking wear. And then I got to figure out how I want to wear my hair based on the outfit. <laughs> Do you ever think this is why men are more successful? Aside from six sexism and all oh, that shit. fuck you. It just takes you guys too goddamn long to get ready. Because I like to look nice and I, you know, but it does take me too long to get ready. It's true. I'm overthinking it a lot of the time. So 
I won't do I that. I got to tell you, you shave your head, it cuts at least five minutes off the prep time. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, oh, make, that, I'll make a note that, of that. That little moosing thing you got to do, you know, style what? it up. What is that noise you make? It was supposed to be me rubbing the moose in my hands back Sounds, in the day when I used to style it up. Sounds gross. You know? Oh, back in the day when you used to put the product in your hair. Yep. Yeah. When I was young. When you had hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out of here. Go All get right. your cake. I'm going to go pick up the Christmas cake. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, and Merry Christmas to you, and you are forgiven. I'm forgiven. You're forgiven. Yes, for being a jerk face yesterday. All right. I'll take that. Okay. Thank you. And deal. Deal. Mwah. All right, get out of here. Bye. There we go. There we go. Um, tragedy. Averted. Oh, I stuck with that, man. Oh, I stayed in the pocket on that one. She tried to turn it around about all the shit that I'm doing, you know? And I was just like, hey, I know all the shit we're doing. God knows I know all the shit we're doing, and I know that I'm doing, and I know you know the shit that I'm doing, and I'm fucking working on it. You know, I haven't yelled about sports on speakerphone the whole fucking week. All right? I haven't done that once, and that gave me credibility. All right? They're never fucking ready. I don't give a fuck how much time you give them. They're never fucking ready. Anyone kills me, then they get in the car, and they're putting their fucking makeup on. And then over the years, you got all that makeup on the fucking visor! drives me nuts they're like oh just use an eyeliner and lipstick somehow it gets on your fingers and it's like it's like swear to god it's like an adult five-year-old you know if you fucking have a kid you know there's going to be cheerios and shit all over your car right and if you got a broad in your life there's going to be makeup all over the f- and they don't give a fuck you know and you bring it up in your own cunty way and what do they do they cry you know what they, you know what i'm going to make my million dollars on i'm going to make a fucking adult baby seat for a woman right so when she's in a bad mood like what everything i do for the family you just stick her in there right and you got a fucking pacifier that's like chai latte fucking frappuccino whatever the fuck they like flavor to be all these different flavors pa- adult pacifiers for women and you stick it in there and then you leave right i know there's a lot of women listening right now eh, what about what about one for guys and all i say to that is, why don't you come up with an original idea huh Joining the NFL. Oh, you guys got a lot of nerve. This is really cunty for the holidays, isn't it?